Greetings, whores and whoreheads. Welcome to episode 84 of my WWE 2K14 Universe mode. In terrible quality, might I add. Um, no, we're not having that song. Oh, that song. Feck it. Right, um, so first uh, I want to give a shout out to my friend Donna again. Uh, I run out, uh, everyone else was shouted out, so we're going around the circle again. So, Donna, this is shout out to you. Uh, Facebook kick. Donna, I've already explained. She's a good friend. Nice, kind, etc. Kick off Facebook or whatever. Yeah, message. You know the drill by now. I don't even need to say it. So, uh, opening the show, we have uh, Ricky at the Dragon Steamboat sticking on Seth the Dragon Rollins. Sorry for all the shaking. There's some kind of shaking. And then we've got Chris Jericho taking on the United States Champion Randy Savage. Kofi Kingston taking on Batista in what's going to be a walkover for Batista probably. Then we've got Rock and John Cena. It's going to be a good match, but it's not the main event because guess what is? This is going to be a no disqualifications match between Triple H and Stone Cold. That's going to be a physical brawl, mate. Let's get underway with some Dragon versus Dragon action. Technically, Dragon and Dragon would be Steamboat and Brian, but that's not the point. This episode is sponsored by Iron Brew because that's my drink. And I'm going to take a quick sip before we start. I've got quite a bit of time to take a sip though because of the entrances, but you know. <laughs> Cleveland, Ohio. Oh shit. <laughs> Well, you can tell what I forgot to do here, can't you? Yep. I forgot to put the matches back after Hardcore Heaven. God damn it. Sorry, I'm kind of in a rush tonight, so... So if anyone uses a weapon, they'll be disqualified. Just like normal, so... The Seth. It's actually Sierra Echo T Tango Hotel Seth. Right. Sierra Echo Tango Hotel Seth. So from Davenport, Iowa, all the way from Iowa. I don't know how close it is between uh, Iowa and Ohio, but you know, the both have four letters. I know Ohio's near the Can Canadian border, so uh, Iowa thinks middle of America, maybe. Not a clue. We're in the hometown of the Miz, and the Miz isn't even on the card. And I'm gonna have a quick burp. <laughs> Okay, that's quite long, but... But I'm going to play all the matches now, just in case somebody uses a weapon and gets this lot back. So, Rollins and Steamboat here. So, this is episode uh, 84, like I said. I hope you enjoyed... I hope you all enjoyed Hardcore Heaven. Uh, both parts have gone up quite well. I'm sorry about the length of the... Cesaro and Brian match, that was just part of the story I was doing. And I think I think it was a pretty epic match, to be honest. Uh, how it was uh, contested between both guys. It was 4 all at the end. Then it went to sudden death and, uh, yeah, stuff like that. But now we are focusing on SummerSlam. Uh, but I have got an announcement to make. Um... On June, what's well, this? Uh, on June fourteenth, which is Saturday, I am away for a week, so there will be no videos for a week. Which means I'm going to be finishing on another episode of Raw, which will be episode eighty-eight. I'm going to be recording that on Friday. Um, I may get a quick episode recorded and uploaded for Saturday, but I highly doubt it. Uh, so we're probably going to end on episode 88, which is going to be another Raw. It's going to be the last Raw before SummerSlam. And then when I come back, we're going to do ECW. We're going to do what's uh, main event. We're going to do SmackDown. 
And then we're gonna go into the SummerSlam pay per view, which is gonna be um amazing pay per view. It's gonna I got lots of matches sorted, but I just need to write them down. Seth Rollins got for cheeky rope here. Oh, Steamboat just kicking out. Steamboat the head scissors. I should maybe talk more about my day instead of just talking about the match. So, how was my day today? My day was alright, actually. It was, uh, some asshole just kept on being an asshole as the, um, he's, the asshole is going to remain unnamed, but he was just being an asshole all day. Um, but yeah, we, uh, instead of being at school today, we, uh, went to the beach to do some, uh, beach cleaning and some beach, uh, stuff. Learning about, uh, beaches, obviously. Um, we had to do some grass planting, which was alright. We had to do some vegetate. we had to do this vegetation survey, which was pretty cool. And then we got to, like, a bonfire and have marshmallows. Although, I didn't want marshmallows, but it was still pretty cool, anyway. And then, uh, later tonight, uh, about few hours ago, um, I was out uh, rowing with sea cadets because I still go. I might be quitting. I'm probably going to quit soon though because it's going downhill. But yeah, I um, went rowing tonight and yeah, it was pretty fun. Uh, but um, yes, yeah, so that was my day. I got back about... Uh, an hour ago, I think it was, uh, I came back at um, half nine, it's about quarter past ten, so 45 minutes ago, I didn't, have, I didn't even check the time, so anyway, yeah, it was my day, it's not very interesting, I know, but tomorrow is going to be even worse because I have to go back to classes, whereas um, some other people are going to get to go to the beach, which I'm kind of jealous because I want to go to the beach because the beach was fun. Uh. No, Cole. It's normal rules. I just forgot to set it to normal rules. So, Steamboat, if you get a weapon and use it against me, you'll be disqualified and we'll go on to the next match, alright? Um, Seth uh, is in control. And it, can't see the time because of my clock uh, getting obstructed by my uh, bottle of cola. Um, so. I think it said 17, I think it says 17, so I'm pretty close to the time. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is, this is episode 84. We are just 16 episodes from episode 100, which means it's probably 23 days till I do episode 100. Because I'm going to be away for a week. Um, <clears throat> Maybe a bit longer because I've got pay per view, so it's probably going to be about uh, 3 or 4 weeks. Um, but anyway... What I was going to ask is, if anyone has any uh, ideas for an episode 100 special, I had an idea in mind, but uh, if anyone else has any ideas, comment them in the, uh, in the comments section. My idea was um, to do an 8-man King of the Ring, and Rollins is going to do it again, curb stomp, and that's going to be it. Anyway, um, my idea was an 8-man King of the Ring, so if anyone else has got any other ideas, then feel free to comment them, or message uh, the private message if you don't want to comment them. So, Seth Rollins picks up the win. Top and Raw. Take a quick drink of Iron Brew. I always say quick drink and I end up drinking like five gulps or something. Seth is all fired up. But the next match is of course a match between Chris Jericho and uh, the United States Champion. The Macho Man himself. Macho Man Randy Savage. The phone has been a bit laggy but can't help that. But it's alright, we can all survive, and probably not many people watch these videos, but if you do, thank you.
Jedica. Ignore that. These two legends are going to put on one hell of a match, I assume. Comes a champion. This is a non title match, so if Chris Jericho wins, he may get a future United States Championship shot. Love Miz and uh, everyone hate, loves Miz not being on the show. Okay, um, actually, no, everyone hates Miz being on the show because he's from Cleveland. You didn't warn me. I actually did move too early there. Let's do it again. Let's do it and do it and do it, do it, do it, do it and do it and do it because I got a feeling. That Chris Jericho is going to beat my ass. Not literally because that would be gay. But I mean on this game because it's... Net break of time. Yeah, penis. Anyway, I'm slightly hyper because of that, bro. Fuck out! No! There isn't no disqualifications match. Disqualifications are still in effect. You! You god, this is for you, Eddie. He's not up there, Randy. He's down here. Wait, Savage is dead now, so he'll be up there. There you go, I don't know. Okay, but anyway, off that uncomfortable topic. Macho Man Randy Savage is a motherfucking beast, yeah. Savage is the champion, but will he get to feed by coffee at some slam? My sources tell me yes, but probably not because Savage is awesome. Okay, I'm gonna stop singing now, but airplane spin, and that's gonna be. I decided that's gonna be the one, two, three, and it's an Uno, and it's a. Oh. Oh. Oh! oh. Fucking chop, you mate. Fucking chop, oh crap. 
there. I may need to put the reversal rate up for it, uh, probably because these matches are too easy. I know, I know, it's, they're finding this too easy. And uh, Jericho going to lose right now. Uh, I just want to check if I've got any other finishes except for. Uh, wrong button. Uh, any other finishes except for the elbow drop. Dive into the box. Alright, okay. So. Yo, 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 and yo, you will listen to me. Okay. Okay. Jericho is seriously not fighting back. I'm going to have to put a difficulty or something up. I would say that's road break, but the match is no disqualification, so. Yeah. Let's go for a roll up. Shouldn't I be dazed from that? Oh, fuck it. Ah, fuck it. Ah, fuck it. Jericho with the diving chart thing. Yeah, take him down like a bitch. Take him down like a bitch. Oh. Cheap shot by Jericho. Oh, wait, I forgot I was supposed to debut him and Angle tonight. Oh, well, next week. Next week, we'll see the debut of Jericho and Angle. Alright, let's go top rope. Now I'm using the finisher you get. It's not weakened enough. Oh, wow, I told you. What did I tell you? I told you, didn't I tell you? I told you, but you didn't listen, did I tell you? Are you ready for summer? At EDC on the apron? Like a bitch? Like a... Peach. Oh damn! They're going to see some concert. All oh, right, yes, yeah, no count outs. Is a fuck. You know how to use weapons, mate. Oh, uh, Jericho knows the rules, which is good. Wow, you smelly piece of dog turd. Yo. Can't use weapons. Can't use weapons. The disqualifications are in effect because I said so. Alright. So we're not allowed to use weapons, Jericho. I, have, I forgot to change it back from High Cloud Heaven. I'm sorry. Sorry for the confusion. Anyway. One. Two. No. Kick out. Damn! I'm gonna get a drop kick to the outside. Great. Bam! Come on! Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, there is. Yep, no, we're not we're having weapons, mate. We're not having weapons. If you use a weapon, you get to fight. That doesn't count. Let's try to throw out the ring. But honestly though, if I do do a weapon shot by accident, I'll count it, but that was trying to get it out of the ring. Yo, 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 ref. Ah, shit. Vols of Jerry, so. And just remember there's no road break. Yeah, he is completely, he is completely not able to whatever the fuck Michael Cole said. Oh, sweet shit, mate. I want to do the double uh, diving axe handle followed by the thing, so... So what I'm going to do is pick Jericho up, top rope, diving brain shot, oh wow, wow, Jericho you piece of shining wizard, two and a half, how did he kick out?
Uh oh, Jericho gets slammed. And now. Elbow drop, and there should be ping pong buffed up, but there's not. That's gonna be it. Uno, dos, tres. Randy Savage picks up some needed momentum, and I'm gonna take a quick swig of Iron Brew right here. Uh, yeah. Savage wins. Everybody loves the match, man. Only the main event is actually no disqualifications. The rest are just normal matches, so we can do it if we want in the main event. <laughs> Kobe Kingston taking on Batista. Any bets that Batista's going to win? Yeah, okay, everyone betets, yeah. Betets that Batista's going to win. Cleveland, Ohio, Kofi Kingston is ready. He can glide to the ring, yeah. That's called levitation. I hear them shot then. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sick of all these people talking out their heads I never understood a damn thing that they said I'm a really terrible singer, that wasn't even my singing voice either so yeah, that, uh, I'm not going to sing anymore because I'm terrible. Turbo, I'm turbo singing. Turbo. I don't know what an Ohio accent is, so I can't fucking do an Ohio accent. But let's go, bitch. Batista to Canelli. I've managed to do the slam there. And I think the standing general manager Vince McMahon just doesn't like uh, Cuff Kingston because Hogan got taken out uh, from Brock Lesnar, by Brock Lesnar two weeks ago. Oh, no. I don't get no bigger than this. Kingston try to fight back and he's, he is doing it at the moment. But Batista definitely got the control in this match. It wouldn't surprise me if Batista wins. Uh, mate. 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 No. <sighs> Got the keys to take out Batista. Nope. It's disqualification. Nothing can happen. The only difference is there's no count-ups. 
Coffee, but we face the sun here. Oh. Yeah, Batista just showing off. Uh. Wow, Kofi taking out Batista again. Batista breaking straight out, Sleeper. That's two on the outside. Batista has that control, but Kofi lined up from him. Next is it. Not to use weapons, Batista. I told you this. Coffee picking up some momentum here. Wow. This AI doesn't fight straight back. I mean, fights back, but not straight. Wow. Batista, will you fuck off with your weapons? No weapons allowed. Well, part of you don't understand, Batista. Just because I forget to change the rules doesn't mean you ought to use weapons, alright? 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 Good. Down in the city on Capitol Hill, I've assumed if what I'm seeing here is real. Cowboy boots doing lines at the bar, but the time goes slow when you drink a baby, you Sorry, it's like a song. Uh, what do you not get about no weapons, mate? Leave them alone, alright? Oh wow, Batista overpowering Kingstone, what a su what a su what a surprise there. Down in the city on Capitol Hill where a question if what I'm I don't know why I like that song. Batista he is serious. Are you serious, bro? Alright, get up. Get you pissing me off now. You straight pissing my tits off, mate. Wow, okay, whatever. I thought this match would be over by now. Oh, Batista's got signature shit. Um, okay. Um, uh, come in, please. Thank you. Um, oh, shit. Kofi got the flake advantage over Batista, we all know. Kofi got uh, Batista sorted here. Oh wow, we're all up by Kofi 1. Oh, Batista. Easily gets his shoulder up. And now. Batista bomb, Batista bomb, Batista just beat Kofi. Wow, how did Kofi kick out of that? Maybe Kofi. How did Kofi kick out of that? I don't even know. And Batista makes coffee tart. Batista, we all knew Batista was going to win. The plan, was, the, the plan there was to get coffee to win by roll. But Batista picks up the win. Coffee's losing momentum. Going into SummerSlam. Savage picks up the win.
We all knew Batista was going to pick up the win. So we've just heard that a tag team match has been announced for next week. The tag team match that's been announced for next week is a match between Kofi Kingston and Chris Jericho, who are going to team up against Randy Savage and Batista, and for some reason Mick Foley's in John Cena's corner against The Rock. Okay. So this is our core main event. This is going to be a brilliant match. What the rap is cooking. Now, 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 now. The people's ring, the people's champion, the WWE champion, the man who's held that title all the way since over the limit, that's almost three months ago. And we've still not heard whether Bret Hart is able to compete or not. Bret Hart was supposed to be coming to Cleveland to give his uh, health address to see whether Brock Lesnar had actually broken his arm or not. But Bret Hart couldn't make it this week, so we'll see Bret Hart next week to see if he can, um, well, to see if he can wrestle. And Thugonomics Cena's back. No, it isn't. It's all about the chain gang. Chain gang soldier 54. Even though I thought he was the man who invaded the chain gang, he is apparently the 54th member of it. An ass kicking anthem. I might begin a gradual heel turn with Cena because that would be quite interesting. Especially if I put him, uh, if I uh, make him go for the title. My theme song hits, get your reinforcements, the strike quick, the hard kick. Beat you like this, never survive this. Two faced rappers walk away with four shiners, the raw rammers are turning legends to old timers, mind size like a fire driver through your one liners. New Dead Man Inc., are we about to make you famous? Kicking over, taking over earth and still kicking in your anus, a word life. Word life, man! Let's go. With some hyperactive Rock versus Cena. Bring it. Rock is showing the Cena Punk who's boss. Early in the match. Rocky! 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 Some more drop. Oh wow. If Cena does defeat Rock here, does that put him in line for the title? We don't want Rock getting an injury. We've already got the contender possibly having an injury. We don't want the champ having an injury too. So that would just ruin life. I cannot actually wait until Summer Slam. I've got everything so planned out. And everything. I forget who won that uh, six woman tag team match though. I'm gonna look over some video, uh, look over the videos that uh, the contender matches in, write the uh, title matches down, write all the other matches down. I think I've got all my confirmed ma matches, so that's pretty good. Um, I'll write them down, and if it's seven, then I'll just stick with those. If it's not, then uh, I'll uh, add another one off. Something. I'll take away another one if it's eight or something. But then again, the last, uh, uh, the, was it No Way Out? I can't remember who's No Way Out of Money in the Bank. It was No Way Out that had eight, so. C 
Cena, the, no, uh, Rock knows that Cena needs to wind down a lot to even get anywhere near um, beaten. So Rock is just controlling Cena on the outside, taking advantage of the no count out rule anyway. Continuous DDTs to Cena. Four DDTs. And I tell him to bring it, and Cena can't bring it. He just took a four DDTs. Sharp shooter on the outside. Is Cena going to tap? Cena, uh, Rock knows that Cena's going to take a lot of punishment to beat. You got the franchise player on the Super Bowl stage. So let that gorilla rock out of his cage. Atomic drop by uh, the WWE champ, The Rock. But what match this has been, exactly. Oh, okay. Oh! Oh, snap! Attitude adjustment by The Rock, maybe. He hits it. One, two, no. Cena kicks out of his own finisher. And now Cena's mad, but The Rock has still got control of Cena here. One, two, no. Cena kick out again. Never see Cena dominated like this usually, but Cena is taking a shitload of punishment here. Right here, right now, right now, right here, that's going to be it. No, Cena kicking out again. Going for a roll up in. Uno, dos. What match this has been so far? Spam Buster! Going for the pun, uh, pun? The pin. Two count on Cena again. Cena just doesn't stay down. Are you fucking kidding me? The Chain Gang! Take his weapons in this match, Cena. You know, he can use his barricade brakes. Oh, okay, maybe not. Oh, attitude just on the outside to the rock. The rock giving rock. Uh, the Cena giving rock some payback. But the rock equal to it. Smashing Cena's head against the ring post, putting him back in the ring. Going for a pin. Maybe it's just going to be it. Two again on Cena. Cena has been fighting a lot this match. They're on board. Cena needs to fight back though. Down with Tion Capital Hiller. You know, so what I'm seeing here is real. Cowboy boat sang that. The bad, the bad, blah, 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 blah. Down in the city arc up until here. The Rock is definitely taking control of this match here now. The same to Cena. Fuck you, Cena. I am the Rock. I am the WWE Champion. You better spell that fact or you're going to get an ass whooping, boy. Not just saying that because he's not from Texas, but you know. <sighs> Sorry. Flem. Flegum. I've seen him switching it around. And I've seen him maybe looking for a weapon, trying to get disqualified. 
Disqualification occurs. If you use a weapon, Cena. Oh, Cena fighting out though. Rock going for up. Oh no. Dos. No, Cena kicks out again. Wow. I don't know, but we're gonna have some taunting by the Rock. The Rock, not the Rock, but the Rock. Cowboy boots on, cut the tail Cowboy, spam bus, is that, is that gonna be it now? Is Cena one down or no? One, two, no, wow. I know this match has been pretty shit for a Rock vs Cena match, but you know. Shit happens and Cena's going for another weapon. I'm going to itch my head a minute. Because there's a chick because of all the spots on it. Yeah, yeah mate, man. No, drink to you, little bitch. Drink to you, little bitch. We are not using weapons, alright? Stay. Oh, wow. Okay, sorry, ref. Oh, wow, you serious, Cena. Out. That. The, out. No weapons, all right. No weapons. There's no, every everything goes. All right. Okay, Cena, you ready for the Rock Showdown? Also oh, another nose. Rock bottom. Followed by the people's elbow. The most electrified move in all sports entertainment. You keep John Cena down. Come on, this is gonna be it. This is gonna be it. It's gonna be it. Yeah. One, two, three. The Rock defeats John Cena in what's probably the worst Rock Cena match ever, but you know, fuck it. We've only had two. One match though. Rock defeats Cena. Rock and Mick Foley celebrate together. Don't ask any questions and you won't get any answers. Please tell me it's kept the main event match because this would be pretty cool. If no disqualifications, this is no disqualifications. You can use weapons in this match. I'm going to take a quick swig of iron, bro. A couple of swigs. Let's go. Not good. That's correct this time. Triple hurts. So we're gonna watch physical matches. In raw history. You remember the Kane and Batista nose qualifications match from a few months ago? Probably gonna be as physical as that, if not more physical. Don't you understand your own confusion? Why don't you understand your own confusion? You little hoa. Like a blind is a blind. Feel like a blind is a blind. Something like a blind is a blind. Starting to feel like the blind with the deaf. Triple H is ready, but is this man also ready? Foucault still receiving a negative reaction. Hardcore title holder.
step up bring the living inside you I'm breaking you want to find you stop breaking the living inside you These two men will face off at SummerSlam, but they're facing off early tonight. Stone Cold has had enough of Triple H's bullshit. I've heard enough of your bullshit, Triple H. I'm not good with Texan accents, fuck off. <laughs> it's so money, and that's the bottom line because Ted DiBiase said so. Right, let's go. Let's freaking wank this bitch off until it comes. I don't even know. Right, okay. Why to J? You lost. Go away. No one likes you. Let's go. Don't call going straight for Triple H here. Triple H can always take out his trusted sledgehammer. Uh, Triple H reversion. These two used to be a team, but Triple H turned on Austin. Austin, albeit, still won the match, but... The point is, these two were a good team as well. They were scheduled to challenge for the Tag Team Championships and No Way Out. So this feud has been stemming a while. These two men had a physical altercation in the Money in the Bank ladder match, because both these men were in that. Neither of the men won, though. It was won by Kane. This is going to be physical. Probably going to be most, like I said, one of the most physical matches on Raw ever. Especially if Stone Cold gets his way. Best the bottom line. Cause down, cow said so. And the advantage of both these men is you can try and injure the other man as much as possible before going into the match at SummerSlam. It is a sad idea. So called just stomping Triple H. Stomping mud holes and walking them dry. Russian legs up on the chair. Austin's definitely had the early advantage in this match. Get up, you bitch. Get up, you rattlesnake. Oh, way down the rattlesnake. Sit down. Oh, wow. Sit down. Oh, wow. This isn't working. All right. Okay. Fuck it. Let's go for the elbow. Uh, what, wait, what, wait, what, wait, what, wait, what, wait, what, wait, what? Uh, what the fuck's happening with my phone? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, fuck. Something's happening with my phone. Uh, I'm gonna have to just finish the video off and then check after. Uh, I don't know what's happened. People are probably thinking, oh, it looks cool, it doesn't, it's fucking annoying. Uh, I don't know what's happened. So, I'm going to continue the match, and if it gets worse, we might have to abandon the video or end the match early. I don't know what the fuck has happened. It's nothing with the TV, because the TV is working perfectly fine. Oh god. Please don't tell me my phone's completely broken. That would just be the shit. Not the good shit, but the hard shit. Uh, if the video does have to be ended early, then the plan was to dominate Triple H. Get three finishes. Um, use one of those to put Triple H to the table. Uh, do a stunner and then probably finish with a pedigree or something, I don't know. Um, shit, what's happened? I don't even know here what's happened. Uh, this is... 
if it's coming up on the YouTube video, it's coming up on my video, then I'm terribly sorry. I have no control over it. Maybe I should end it. Uh, uh, Boy, he is really tired now. I'm contemplating uh, ending the video here. Because uh, I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, everything else seems fine, although it's dark, so I can't really see. Um, uh, it's going to cause a decimated triple H here. Hey, I'm stone cold! I don't know what the fuck's happened, but you know. Uh, I, I just noticed that. I don't know how long it's been like that for. If I noticed, it's probably about 30 seconds or something. Okay, I was looking at the TV screen. Uh, stone cold taking the table into the ring. Uh, I'm sorry for this. At least it's some good effect. Maybe it's uh, 3D. Maybe it's meant to be like this and uh, it's in 3D mode or something. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the fuck's happened. Stone Cold is taking the Triple H here. Trying to decimate Triple H. Kick him in the groin. I don't think Triple H is going to get it. Triple H has been completely dominated here. And we've just heard the, the stipulation for this match at SummerSlam. While the match is still going on, we've just heard the stipulation for Stone Cold and uh, Triple H at SummerSlam. It's going to be a sledgehammer street fight. Oh, what the hell is with the Raw logo? I think I thought it was utterly spelled, so I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to have to end it, uh, this match early. I'm going to end it in the way I wanted to. But I didn't want to dominate Triple H as much as I did. I wanted it to be pretty equal. Uh, I wanted it to. I want the video. Wanted the video to end about an hour, but I'm gonna end it early because I don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, I don't know if it's just the camera that's fucked up or if it's my whole phone because my phone's had a crack down the screen now for about ten months, so maybe it needs to see. So almost a year it's had. It's been there, so I don't know. Come on, you Triple H bitch. Come on, you honky tonk man. Oh wow. Wow, game. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 sweet, sweet. I'll get in the ring. Oh, snap. Triple H has got a cane. Triple H has got a cane. Stunner. Uh oh. Telling Triple H to suck it. Pedigree time. It's still called Pedigree and the Kendall Stick. Wow, that's gonna be it. One, two, three. I honestly don't know what's happened here. Um, uh, uh, I don't. I don't actually know. Right. Okay. Let's finish this. End the episode. Nothing's actually gonna happen. I don't know what's happened. After the video, I'm going to check how long it took me to realise. Uh, I don't even know what's happened here. It's two stone cold. Quite the fun, eh? Right, I'm kidding. Um, let's turn the volume down and see what ECW has booked uh, for its match. Oh, I'd have to change it back to normal matches because we've got ECW next. Uh, no, 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 and no. What stupid fucking rivalry is it booked? Um, nope. Nope and nope. These aren't happening. Alright, okay, good. Um, so, I'll see you, I suppose, next If I get this fixed, next episode will be tomorrow. If I don't get this fixed, I don't know when the next episode's going to be. We might need to take a break. Uh, I'm going to sort the camera out as soon as I can. Uh, it's been episode 84. I'll see you next time for some more Universe Mode.